Hey guys, it's Ann over at Plant Obsessed, and we're checking in on the Urban Worm Bag today. And they had a lot of melon last week. Let's see what we got going on in here. Still pretty wet. Still see quite a few hanging out on the top here. The the bags that were supposed to be compostable are, I don't know, it's like six months in, but they're certainly making a, you can kind of see, they're tearing. They were a lot structurally stronger before. Um, even this one's like I'm trying to pull it out and it's just ripping to pieces. So I guess that's good news. So I think my husband's potato experiment over here I think is certainly ready to go in the ground. I think that was his goal. So I will try and move around that a little easier and not disturb the fine roots. Just put it put it in there. Seems like I lost a piece. Mm, then I probably should just go back to get in right. So they got a very healthy feeding of melon. There's still just the skin left and the babies are on it chunk of wood looks like it's just the just the skin left so let's see it's kind of wet as you know as we all know the melon is really wet and that kind of does cause everything to be wet and, oh let's see half of an avocado pit but it looks like they've gone through all of that melon and whatnot. I'm not sure cutting those avocado pits in half is any more helpful than just letting them do it on their own. Well, it looks like the super pumpkin was a bust. It didn't. It didn't grow. Seed is still there. Maybe it just wasn't a valid seed or a, you know, good. But the, the baby pumpkin, let me go grab that. I haven't planted them outside yet, but here they are. I've taken them out of the worm bin. So they're still doing good. Put them out there this weekend with the potato. So just uh, bonsai clippings. They've got a waxy surface on them so figured those would definitely take a while. But I'm not seeing any of the the real food. It's all except for the stems. It's all gone. I did do a little harvest and there was a lot of worms and it wasn't exactly a textbook harvest. I just kind of went in there to see what I had. And so it wasn't very pretty. It's the first couple of harvests on the bag system. So good sized bunch of the African night crawlers. That one appears to be really skinny. Maybe he's young or old, I can't tell. Put a couple pounds of you know, melon in here last week. They certainly shouldn't be skinny. Yeah, more more of the melon that the babies are getting into. So I have unfrozen a bag of melon, more melon. And I think that's what they're going to get. It's a pretty wet feeding, so I'm definitely going to give them some bedding first. So I'm going to move everything over to the edge here and make for some room. It is a little warm in the middle here. 
but you can see the bedding is still pretty recognizable, the junk mail bedding. Alright, so I'm going to just heap that up, give them a big clump of junk mail bedding that's been fermenting in the tub. Okay, so we've got a one gallon bag of previously frozen red onions and melon. It's been sitting out on the counter for a couple days now, so it is, it's a bit funky. Yes, it is. Neighbor just gave me some lemons, so I'm going to, she made the lemonade, I'm going to give the rest of the worms. So to sort of even out the stinkiness from the onions, you know, if life gives you lemons, you make lemonades and then you give the... If life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. And then you give your neighbor who has a worm farm what's left over and everybody's happy. So I'm going to give it a little sprinkle of the microbial rich old bedding and then a big handful of my prepared bedding which is junk mail, cardboard and uh, I do put a little bit of the the kelp powder in there just to kind of get it going to give the microbes something to get started on so make sure that's all covered up because those on onions will totally get funky and I'll bring all of everything over to the corner for the bags and the leftover melon rinds and skins put that all over in the corner so they can work on it and then that should be good for the African night crawlers at least for a week, I would think. All right. Well, if you like the video, give me a muddy thumbs up. Forgot my gloves. Dang it. That's going to be some bleach. If you want to see what I'm doing, subscribe. And if you want to know exactly when I'm doing it, hit the little bell icon. Alright guys, well thanks for hanging out with me and my worms and everybody have a good night.